Hello everyone, it is so awesome here with another video. Today, we will be talking about my first impressions with the series Naruto. But without further ado, let's get into the video. I was constantly hearing about the show and how great it was. Personally, my only experience with anime prior to Naruto would be Pokemon, so I really didn't know what to expect with this show. So eventually, I gave out and the pressure to watch this show finally won. And let me tell you, this show is really good. It has all the right elements to make a fast and entertaining TV series. It has action, cool characters, and keeps a sense of direction and build up no matter the episode. I really don't think of any episodes I watched so far were completely useless filler. Now I don't say that often, but I truly fear that, feel that there is always something useful to the plot or some character development in every episode. Because everything the characters do and don't do affects them in some way or another. I also like how the characters stay true to themselves and their beliefs. Like in this show, you won't get a super skilled ninja that is super smart, be dumb and clumsy all of a sudden, just to serve the plot. And everything the characters do in this show comes from past experiences, and I think that is one of the best things that this show does. Naruto is trying to become the fifth Hokage because he was shunned and wants everyone to look up to him and think that he is somebody. And this affects every choice he makes, no matter how big or small. And if you watch the show, you will know what I mean. Also, I really like how the characters have to work for everything. Like, even though Naruto was born with a nine-tailed fox in him and has immense power, he still has to work for it and train really hard to even get a glimpse from that power. Something that so many other shows get wrong is that the main protagonist just all of a sudden gets these super extraordinary powers, and to be honest, it can leave you annoyed and not interested. In Naruto, even when the power of the Nine-Tailed Fox comes out, it really feels earned, and not some cheap fluke to get him out of trouble. Another thing they do really well is going back to the point I made earlier about the character development. Because of the good character development and the creators taking their time on explaining backstories and character motives, it makes us for some really good and emotional scenes. Also, I think this next point might be small and insignificant to some, but it can really make a difference if it was non-existent. What I am talking about is Naruto kinda being dumb. If he wasn't, we wouldn't get the exposition from Sakura, Sasuke, and Kakashi, or any other character about what was happening. Think about it. If Naruto knew what he was doing and was smart, then him asking questions all the time would seem out of character and forced. And nothing is worse than forced and out of place exposition. It is something that can really change the effect and feeling of a movie or film. I would also like to build upon the point I made earlier about the character development. Not only do the characters have good backstory, backstories and motives, but the side characters too. People such as Kakashi, Rock Lee, Ino, Gai Sente, and all the other side characters and even the antagonists, such as Igara and Uchi Orochimaru, all get a certain amount of character development, and I really like that. It makes the world of Naruto even more fleshed out than it already is. And once you go get to Season 2 and the tuning exams, the world becomes a lot bigger. Because all you got was a glimpse in the first season with the village hidden in the mist. But now you actually get to see a bunch of different villages and their ninja as well. And to be honest, the tuning exams is probably one of my favorite parts of Naruto so far. But another really good thing about Naruto and the series is the general in general is that the fight scenes are, are good and are usually spanned from about 5 minutes to 3 episodes. And let me go back to the claim that the fight scenes are good. Because they are. Unlike most other shows where the fight scenes are just them ceaselessly punching each other, here instead they use tactics and always have to think ahead if they want to come out victorious. And if you start watching the series with that in mind, then I think you will understand what I'm talking about. So if you thought the first season was good, things really start to pick up in the second season. Then after that, the stakes become higher and the episodes get better. So overall, I think that Naruto Shonen Jump is a really good show and is definitely worth your while. I have only been watching the show for about a week and a half when I wrote the script, and I am already on season 4. The, the show is just that good. And you really don't have a reason not to watch because it is on Netflix, and I also believe it's on Hulu as well. But now, it is time for... For the first ever bonus round, I will be talking about my thoughts on a few of the characters so far. And be warned because there will be some minor spoilers. 
So I really like this character. I really like how the show portrays his struggles and how it is like to be an outcast. Instead of the writers just taking the cheap way out and making him have immense power, he instead works hard and trains hard and sets his goal on being the fifth Hokage. And once he meets Jiraiya and he learns to control the Nine Tails Fox's chakra, and then he truly becomes powerful and really fun to watch. But it, that wouldn't even be possible if he didn't work hard and train even harder. And that is why I like this character so much. It's probably the way that it's just the way that he never gives up and that he always and he always has a can-do attitude. I also think that Sasuke is a very cool and good character. I think he is the perfect counterpart to Naruto, and I think that he has good character development so far. I also really like the relationship between him and Naruto. And after he comes back from his injury or curse mark, he becomes super strong and learns a really cool new ninjutsu, ninjutsu and becomes super fast. Also, almost as if not as fast as Rock Lee. And after that, he just becomes so strong that he can take on Gara in his true form, which I thought was really cool. I think Sakura is a pretty good character, even though she really hasn't done much so far. But I will admit that I have become more fond of her through the seasons because she chills down on being Sasuke's cheerleader and starts to choose her own path and really starts to train to become a stronger person and ninja. Now, I will admit that I really didn't like Kakashi at the beginning, but after the fight with Zabuza, I think he has really earned a spot as one of my favorite characters so far. I mean, he is a super cool ninja with an even cooler design. And with the power of his Sharingan and his lightning blade, he can really be a force to be reckoned with. At first, I really didn't like this guy, because, you know, he's kind of a creep. But after a while, I'm kind of starting to like him, especially after he starts training Naruto. But um, I really like also how they go into his past and show some of the things when he did as a child, so I thought that was pretty cool as well. And some of the resemblances he has to Naruto when he was a kid really makes for, for some really good character moments. But overall, all of the characters get their time to shine in one episode or another. And that is one thing I really like about this show. The character de development, even for the side characters, is fantastic. And in the end, the world really feels fledged out and you really get attached to the characters. But keep in mind that I've only been watched, I've only watched until season 4, episode 4. But if anyone would like to uh, get an extended version of this and have a completely different video going deeper into my thoughts on these people and doing more characters, just hit that like, and, uh, like button and leave a comment. But that is all I have for today. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. But as always, stay awesome. Too awesome. Thanks for watching.